Welcome to the Friday Evening News on Thursday. It's the four-year anniversary of this channel, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. The Chess Mother. We located and found her. Right here on Intrinsic. This thing is the creator of all chess monsters throughout the well-known universe. It's been plaguing servers and maybe even your own single-player world, and we are sorry for what this thing has done. It has been plaguing the Intrinsic server this season, but it's also affected others like Hermitcraft, Existence, and many, many others, I'm sure, along with single-player worlds. This chess mother has been creating offshoots of itself. As you can see, it's made mostly of shulkers, as many other chess monsters are. But it's been permeating and growing slowly but surely, having offshoots, been affecting others. Many say that it'll be taken care of, it'll shrink at one point, but it never does. Issues continue to arise, but luckily today we have shulker solutions, storage solutions coming in to be able to take care of this situation. We have a reporter on the scene currently that's going to be taking a better look at that scene. Somebody, are you safe first off, and is everything okay? What's, what's it look like on the field? That's right, somebody. I'm here on the scene and we're able to see clearly right now that this is the chest mother. It is something that has been expanding the entire season. Things have been infiltrating and taking up more and more space. And as things have progressed, things have gotten more and more dangerous. As we all know, this is the chest mother. It has produced chest monsters and other servers. For instance, Hermitcraft, Existence, and others unknown. It is a dangerous thing that needs to be taken care of, but boy, oh boy, is the parkour fun right here. I have to be honest. It is really a joy. What are you doing? I know, I'm distracted. I Yeah, you are distracted. Let's communicate that it's dangerous, get yes, this sir. info out yes, there, sir. and then leave. I don't know what on earth you think you're doing. But we are hoping to be able to handle this. We're going to be getting storage solutions in here to be able to have this all cleared up sometime soon. We are hoping this has been a mess has been going on for way too long, and that is what this tower is dedicated to, to be able to have the best storage system available for this chest mother to be taken care of once and for all. Hopefully future-proofing the rest of YouTube from chest monsters and the like. Back to you, somebody. He did just repeat everything I said, right? And like, he said he was gonna stop like being on the chest and then he just continued walking. Like, we're trying to communicate that this thing's dangerous and he just continued to have, I don't, I don't know if he's a good match. He has a contract. Oh, we'll see him to the end of his contract, but I mean, like, I'm just saying, he might have to, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm a little worried about a lot of these interns, okay? And, like, he just said what I said. Like, he didn't add. I know. We'll talk about it later, it's fine. Due to the dangerous nature of working with a chest mother, of all things, we are deciding to do this slowly but surely, whittling away at the chest mother instead of trying to vanquish it all at once, for if we leave a single shulker box behind, we know for a fact that it will continue to grow. We want to be able to do this properly and cleanly, we want to do it the right way. We're starting this off by getting a simple 27 shulker box array into that storage system and storage tower. This system is designed and for the purpose of having multiple items sorted. And with so many shulker boxes having random one-off items in it, we believe that this is a good way to be able to clear up much of the area. It'll do substantial damage to the chest mother without angering it to the point that it might retaliate. We're hoping that this is a good, safe first step. We have one of our electricians and redstone experts, or as we like to call them, geeks, on the field. And we're going to be able to see what they were able to do in this little bit of time on such short notice. Storage solutions. The best geeks you can get. Now that that's over, we're able to finally start putting up a few of these shulker boxes. I decided to go with the first couple really important ones. I still have to figure out what everything else is going to be, and I just realized that that one can't be there. But I believe this will be a good setup. So this is where all the heads are. These are going to be going into this, our redstone box, and, you know, our precious items and things of that nature. So I thought this would be good. I have extra beds. I, I might blow up netherite stuff. I don't know. I really don't. But... I'm gonna get this figured out, get everything set up, and I'm gonna start sending some stuff through the system and make sure everything works and works good. So I guess I will be back soon. Back to you in the studio, somebody. 
I mean, I gotta be honest. I don't know about the guy. I mean, he seems a little awkward. He seems a little strange when he's talking to camera. Like, I mean, I know. I mean, we hired him on as an in unpaid intern. Yes, unpaid intern. But I mean, like, I'm a little worried. You know, I don't know how well he's going to do. I mean, obviously, we're gonna. What? We're lying. We're lying. Yes, so we've been handling with the chess mother just fine, and things have been going well. As you can see, we have multiple shulker boxes ready to be set up, and things are going fantastic. But we did want to be able to mention really quick. If you'd like to be able to see more of what's going on intrinsic, more of the background stuff that's going on, I recommend that you guys go see the background of the news there on Twitch. Yes, we are on Twitch and we do most of our work off camera, but still, we do try to make it a point to be able to do some of it on camera with you guys. We have a lot of things going on. And over there, it isn't just Minecraft going on. For instance, the night that this airs, this news goes out on Thursday, this night, April 1st, no joke intended. We have seven days to die with Swan NC. The next day on Friday, we're going to be doing uh, a lot of work with Intrinsic. And on Saturday, I'm doing my first ever face reveal, playing the new Among Us map with some local friends I have on Twitch. So if you guys want to see what I look like, want to have a good time, I might try to bust out some music and things of that nature. Really recommend that you come check out the cast here for the news over there on Twitch. Some of the things we're going to be working on, I've been told that our artistic uh, expert has been working on a few different diagrams. It's different than the guy from last time. It, we did. He's the same guy. The wonderful recreations and representations that our artist has previously done, we will be showing one. We're hoping for this Friday to do some landscaping and things of that nature. We're able to show that. Okay. Um, we also have... Is that supposed to be gravel? What? It, uh, um... We also are hoping to do some redstone and expand the shulker systems. We're able to take a look at that. Look, man, did you? I understand. I understand. But like, yeah, you did hide the um the editing software. Well, you wait. You needed an editing software to hit flip. Like you just flipped the image, didn't you? You didn't act. No, you didn't make it again. You flipped the image. I know you did. You put in a sound effect of it flipping. I'm just like, I mean, yeah, you did try more, I guess. You hid the editing software. You really needed an editing software for that? It's fine, but like, you know what? You made progress. You didn't show the editing software. Maybe next time, you know, you do something a little more fancy if this is what we are not paying you for, you know? Like, might just be a good idea, okay? Okay. You can stop crying or you can cry in the other room like we talked about, okay? There you go, sport. See you later. But that's not all that we have going on here. We're still working on this system. I have a really exciting thing I want to show you guys to be able to give you a little bit of a teaser for what we're hoping to be able to do with this Friday on stream is be able to set up this little system right here. We're going to go over to the Redstone testing world with somebody. I'm really excited. This is something that's going to make it just so much better than just bulk storage systems. To give it a little glimpse of what might be happening tomorrow with the Twitch stream and things of that nature, here's an idea of a small section of this redstone that we're going to be working on, which is a re as I'm going to call it. All it is is simply down here is a bunch of shulkers and th boxes and things of that nature. The shulker box will fill up. We'll take this uh, comparator and let's say it's like, oh, you know what? I need whatever's in this one. Going to mine it and I'll automatically send out another with this little uh, repeating system right here. But if it is empty and things of that nature, we break it. It's not going to fill back up. That way it just doesn't overflow the system or anything like that. But if we put in any items at all, that will go down and it'll be primed for us to be able to, you know what, we just need this box right now, pop out another one. And it's just going to be able to continue load more and more boxes, things of that nature. So we're able to go up to our storage system. Uh, shulker box should be full at all times for a bulk storage. And we're able to just snag one. It'll automatically pop out the next one and start filling up the next one for the next time we need another box. I think it's fantastic. Back to you, somebody. Fantastic work, geek, nerd, uh, somebody redstone man good job good job on you that looks fantastic and i understood some of those words but before we continue on be able to continue what's going on and move on to our forecast for the coming week i want to be able to hop over to somebody back on the field our fantastic wonderful reporter and be able to see how the chest mother is going i believe it has shrunk considerably and i'm very happy to hear that Yes, very good news indeed. The chest mother has been shrinking, fortunately. There's a large section here that's gone missing. The section over here has gone missing. We've been whittling away here, and things have been going fantastic, it seems. We fly on over rail to see what's been going on necessarily, somebody. So over here, you're able to see that we actually have this up. Most are color-coded. There's two more spots for potential other necessities. 
Things are organized and some are basics, you know, andesite, diorite, granite. Uh, the redstone box is always needed and things of that nature. Over there is our line of empty shulker boxes now. And here are all the non-stackable uh, items that are over here, along with a few things like such as maps and things like that that just simply don't really necessarily have a place in this. And we have this all up. And we are planning to put in bulk storage here sometime soon. But right now, somebody things are going really well. Thinking of expanding this, maybe putting in extra modules, things of that nature. But right now, the chest mother is getting handled. And she is shrinking rapidly, which is beneficial to the server and all of, well, Minecraft kind. As this monster and mother of all creatures is starting to finally shrink down a little bit. He does know that I already told him about the bulk storage. A writer didn't get him the right script. Well, I mean, we can't even blame the guy for that one. We need to talk to the writer. No, it's fine. It's fine. Really glad to hear the chest mother is beginning to shrink. That is fantastic news, and it's great to be able to see that progress. But we need to move on to the forecast. I'm really grateful to have with me here today, Horse Kraz. Horace, it's a pleasure to be able to have you here. If you wouldn't mind, would you be able to go ahead with the forecast for the coming week? <clears throat> well, you see... No. Um... Right. So, this coming week, later today, as I've already mentioned, is we have on Twitch, Seven Days to Die with Swan NC. Very excited about that. We're going to be going around doing some places of interest being able to do some looting things of that nature it should be a lot of fun it's like a first person shooter survival game for those of you who are unaware tomorrow we are going to be going through um intrinsic here going to be working on more storage be able to do some landscaping things of that nature and hopefully finish the last few towers around here which is going to feel fantastic to have done saturday evening i'm going to be live streaming with a couple of my local friends here we are going to do a face reveal we're going to be playing the new among us map and we're just going to be having a fantastic time really looking forward to that it should be a fantastic time Next Friday, with the next weekly news on Fridays, this time it was Thursday, it's fine, don't get scared. We're going to be digging into getting these walls up. We have all these towers going up, but we need to put up the walls. I have all these laid out and marked out, as you've probably seen. The walls need to be built, and I'm really excited to be able to have that, and we're also going to do another house. I want to ask you, though, when it comes to this other house, do you want this to be in the same style as my recent video last week of the Witch Hut transformation video, or should I do something more of a first-person updates kind of style? What would you guys prefer? I would love to be able to hear your thoughts on that. All right, set down, lights off, let's not be fancy, let's talk. Today marks four years on YouTube. This part's unscripted, by the way. I wanted to say thank you. I know people have been at YouTube longer that have had less success. I know people have been at YouTube for less time and have had more success. But I'm very grateful for the success I've had. I've been able to be able to share what I love to do, been able to edit, play video games, and be able to share that with all of you, and it's something I've really enjoyed. I've really grown to love YouTube. This all started out, I don't know if all of you know, this literally started out because I was too stressed and I needed to force myself to have fun. So if I had a schedule of one YouTube video a week, I had to sit down and play video games for a couple hours a week to be able to make sure I got that video out. And then it became something where a lot of the kids at my local church were watching Minecraft videos that people were cussing, swearing, making inappropriate jokes. And I told them to find someone clean. They said, I don't know anyone. So I said, I will be someone. And that's kind of how my YouTube channel started. I remember some of my first subscribers were a pack of kids around the corner that were really obsessed with Minecraft, but didn't know anyone clean. And they watched my content. Another couple guys from my church, young guys at my church. One of them still watches comments and shout out to you, Tyler. You're awesome. But over the years, it's evolved, changed. I went missing for periods of time, came back. And I'm always grateful for you guys that have stuck around and continue to watch these videos and support the channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying it. Um, if you would share and stuff like that, that'd be really cool. But frankly, today, I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate it. And it's been really, really cool. All right, lights back up. Let's get the set piece going. Let's let's actually be professionals here. Okay, let's go. All right, that was weird. I don't know who that guy that was here uh, just now was. Definitely not me. But I wanted to say thank you guys very much for tuning into the news this evening. Welcome to the Friday evening news. Next Friday, we're going to be going over a lot of different things, and I'm very excited. I mean, those walls, talking about what happened on the streams and things of that nature and the progress that's being made. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm very excited for what's going to be going on. So I hope you guys can tune in next week to be able to see all that. But until the next time. What a wonderful world.